Look at that, guys. That is a beautiful fish. Cheers. Cheers! Hey, howdy, homies. What's up? I'm back on the Connecticut River with my buddy Craig. How you doing? And my cousin Chris. Out for a weekend of fun. On my last couple of trips on this river, I've been finishing in North Walpole. This weekend, we're starting in North Walpole. We're gonna do a different section. So we're going from North Walpole to Hensdale. We've already done the car spots. We've done everything we need to do. We're on the water. The weekend has begun. Starting at the very tip of New Hampshire, just a couple hundred yards south of the Canadian border, and running 400 miles to the Long Island Sound, the Connecticut River is the longest river in New England. This weekend I'm using my Winona Fusion. Today we're probably only going to paddle about maybe 10 miles, 11 miles, that's our goal anyway. Tomorrow we've got a much, much more ambitious paddle. It's going to be a lot warmer. The whole trip collectively is going to be about 32 miles. Check it out, guys. I landed a nice walleye. Good eating fish, but I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't have a tape, so we're probably just gonna let it go. Hey, right? <laughs> yeah. Justin with the walleye. Walleye, baby. That's a nice fish, dude. I don't know. I mean, I don't have anything to measure it with, and I don't want to. Beautiful fish, dude. I'm super pumped about this, guys. Look at that, guys. That is a beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Huh? That thing, look at its teeth, man. Look at its teeth. I don't know if it, this thing is a predator. We're gonna, I'm gonna let it go. I wanna eat it so bad, but we don't have a tape, so <laughs> I don't. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Nice job, dude. Woo! Good in the water, baby. That was fun. Oh, that was fun. That's what I just caught that walleye on. Right there. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right, we've been paddling for about five hours now. And we're gonna be coming up onto our campsite sometime soon. We're looking for the Windy Hurst campsite and we're getting close. So this is Windy Hurst campsite. Pretty nice site. And there's a privy out that way. Table. And the view of the river. It's a real nice spot.
going? Nice setup. Going for food. I brought food. Are you doing something or what are you doing? I can't wait to try this. Oh man, this is better than Fenway. Mmm, look at that. Thanks, Justin. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, man. Yeah. Good times. Wicked, bub. Good morning, guys. Well, yesterday was fun. Last night was awesome. And I got a really good night's sleep. Um, which brings me to the tent. Pomali is making a new lightweight tent. And last night I tried it out and it was awesome. For the very first time, I've never even set this tent up before this trip. It's very versatile. It opens up really wide, a lot of ventilation. I was really concerned about sleeping last night because of the heat. It's pretty hot and humid. And that tent is nice and open. The air just blew right through and I slept great. So this is exactly how I slept in this last night. No cap, everything was nice and open. The, the mesh worked, I didn't get bit by any bugs at all. And it was nice and breezy and plenty of airflow and I slept like a champ. This is a versatile tent. My first impressions are, I'm pretty impressed. We've had breakfast, it's been an awesome, nice, quiet, calm morning, and we're gonna pack up and start thinking about getting back on that water. This is a pretty nice spot. back on the water. We've got a pretty good paddle in store for us today, about 17 miles, a little over. We stayed at Windyhurst last night and we're making our way down the river to Wantisquent, 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 I don't know. I'll put it in, I'll leave a note in the description there, but whatever, Wantisquent. Either way, that's where we're heading. It's gonna be a scorcher today. Got all day. We're just gonna make our way down the river, enjoy ourselves. Get the line in the water. Fingers crossed, we'll see what happens. And full day of paddling in store. Does not suck. I just caught a nice smallmouth, guys. Day's starting off pretty decent. I'm happy with that. He fought well. Back in he goes. This is what I just caught that bass on. So we'll stick with it. Get that back in the water. Woke up in a tent, 
Had a leisurely morning. Caught a fish. It's not even 10 o'clock. It's shaping up to be a good day. Started out with a bang anyway. I keep catching clams. All right, it's about 1.30 right now. We've been on the water for four and a half hours. We've covered about 10 miles. We're gonna take a little bit of, of a break. I've already had an orange. I'm gonna eat some of these green bellies. We have about seven miles to go. Headwind's picking up. It's getting to be a bit of a slog. It's all part of the adventure. This meal to go, the green belly, is the apricot, and the peanut and apricot. I'm gonna do that over again. I'm laughing because you burped. <laughs> peanut and apricot. These are really good. As in, not bad. All right, 10 after two, we're back on the water. We've got seven miles to the campsite. About five miles to where we dropped off our trucks. Gaining on it. It's been a hot, hot day today. I'm definitely feeling the heat, but that's okay. It could be hotter, more hot, hottest. The headwind comes and goes, so that's good. It's not consistent. Well, we're down to our last mile now. We've got about one mile left. I'm telling you, it's hot and I'm feeling it. I am beat. It's gonna be nice to get out of this canoe for the day. <laughs> yes. Food, beers, land. Oh, cheers! Cheers! Yeah, it was a heck of a paddle. Yeah, it was. This is the Juan Testaquit campsite. Not sure about the pronunciation, but I'm rolling with it. Fire pit, table. There's a bucket for water up here. Some tools and stuff. There's a crag. There's even a chair. There's a privy out that way. Nice big spot. And this is the launch down here. A little muddy, but not bad. Definitely seen worse. You got some garlic and teriyaki chicken thighs. Some veggies to go with it. It's gonna be good. You guys want instant potatoes? Sure. Are those Brussels sprouts? How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Up, boys. So chicken, obviously. Red peppers. Um, Brussels. Brussels sprouts. Snap peas. Snap peas and tomatoes. Yellow squash. Yellow squash. Whoa. Some green beans. Oh man. I'd rather have ramen, but this is pretty good. 
again. Cheers, gentlemen. Yes, thank awesome. you so much, dude. You're welcome. Look at that. Some soon mm. Adams. Boom. Look at what I just figured out that you can do with this tent. Pretty cool. Chris's tent pole broke last night and he fixed it with tape and a beer can. And then his other pole broke, <laughs> but it got him through the night. Well, it always happens, right? We've always got to have that last paddle of a, of a trip. This was a good one. I had another great trip with this guy right here. This is a busy campsite, that's for sure. Or I should say this section of the river is very busy. It's loud, it's noisy, lots of boats, lots of people. You know, it's a, it's a good area. A lot of people using it to have fun. So don't come to this campsite thinking that it's going to be some kind of quiet wilderness experience because that's just not the case. And there's a big, huge mill right over across the river that's never quiet. So there's that as well. But all complaining aside, it's a nice spot, and it was a welcome spot to get to yesterday because I was done paddling. So were they. We were all paddled out, ready to have a good time. Oh, On film. This is the final paddle of the trip. We've got 1.9 miles to go. We had a blast last night. We got to that island not an island. We got to that campsite and we were all pretty much just spent. We were done paddling. So we commenced to setting up camp and drinking and we all threw, threw down quite the performance, I don't mind saying. Fun time with the boys. <laughs> Food and the beers were on point last night and that's for sure. It's just an awesome weekend on the water. Exploring a new section of river to me, expanding the mental map, working on those campsites, and enjoying the playground that it is the Connecticut River. It's an awesome waterway. Quite the river. Thank you for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. This was another awesome weekend out on the water. I hope there's some information in this video that you find useful. It might help you plan your own trip down the river. We got Craig right there. Don't forget to subscribe to his channel. He does some cool stuff, like hang out with me. You might see me on his channel, so that's cool. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you later. See you on the next one.